Let's talk non-persistence. A system is said to be non-persistence when the changes made in it are not permanent. In cybersecurity, non-persistence refers to the ability to maintain a system's integrity despite multiple attempts of changes by users or attackers. A non-persistent desktop, for example, is a desktop where nothing gets saved at the end of the user's session. Any files that have been saved on the desktop, settings, or shortcuts are all lost at the end of the session, making any changes non-permanent. Let's look at this from cybersecurity perspective. Making the system non-persistent secures it from most malware as the files, applications, or programs installed in it are not permanent because the changes made in its configurations are not saved. Revert to known state is the capability to snapshot. It includes more than just operating systems, but most of the operating systems have this capability as a built-in program. This option is mainly found in Microsoft Office where the system creates a restore point by default before the update processes. That way you can revert back to a known state if there's issues. Then we have last known good configuration. Every time you start up your computer, Windows saves any system related settings to the Windows registry. Some of the information that is written to the registry is in regards to device drivers and services that are used by Windows. Registry key will be restored to the last known state when your computer booted up successfully. This will not modify any files, but it will be able to point the system back to all the drivers, assuming that they are still accessible on the machine. Now let's say you had driver issues or faulty updates that's preventing you from booting up. Last known good configuration allows you to boot from last version that successfully booted up. You can use this option if you make any incorrect configuration to your system and you want to get back to an older state. And lastly, we have live boot media. Live boot media is just any media that you could boot from, like a portable USB.